Hey YouTube, it's Justin, aka Demonic Sweaters, here with another electronic drum video project type thingy today. Uh, what we're going to be doing is actually making a silent double bass drum pedal to use on electronic drums. Now, the company Roland makes something very similar to what we're going to be doing today, except it is quite expensive. So, I was looking at one of those, and at first I was thinking about buying one, but then I was like, you know, I could probably do something like that myself and save myself some money using the double bass drum pedal that I already have. So we're going to talk about how to do that today, or at least I'm going to try it and we'll see how it goes. And uh, maybe we can learn something from this video. But before we get started, check out DistroKid. If you want to get your music on Apple Music, uh, YouTube Music, Spotify, all the streaming services for one low annual fee, that means you only pay one time and you don't have to pay for every single release you do. Uh, per year. DistroKid are a really, really great service. I use them myself to distribute all of my music. And if you click the link down below, you can get an additional 7% off the already low price. So check them out. DistroKid are really great. I really love them. All right, so let's talk about what we're going to be doing today and what we're going to need to do this project. Now, first off, you're going to need a double bass drum pedal, and it's going to have to have a bass on it, like this one. And if you'll notice, both of mine have that. Now, Almost all double bass drum pedals these days have a bass. The only ones that really don't are the really, really old ones and the really, really cheap ones. So this one right here is actually a PDP and I've had this for a really long time and it's actually quite good and these aren't very expensive at all. So I'm gonna post some links to uh, all of this stuff down below. Um, I also have some silent beaters on mine, which helps a lot. And these have some mini tennis balls. Uh, so they're a lot less loud when they slam against the bass drum pedal. But what happens is when you're playing, since this is such a hard surface, and I have people that live down below me, when I basically step on my bass drum pedal and it hits there, it sends vibrations from the bottom of the pedal down through the floor. Now the Roland ones, if you look at the uh, Roland design, their noise eater things are basically these little rubber pads that are on the bass drum, uh, the underside of the bass drum pedal that keep it a little bit elevated off the ground and kind of absorb some of the shock when you're playing. Now what we're gonna be using for our project are mini tennis balls. Now you can buy these, these are actually for pets and they have them on Amazon, that's where I ordered mine and I'll post a link to these down below. And uh, what we're gonna be doing is using these, we're gonna be cutting these in half and then we're gonna be using a glue gun. So glue gun is just a hot glue gun, a very simple thing, they're very inexpensive as well. So all this stuff together shouldn't cost you too much. You know, the tennis balls, I think were like $8 or something like that. Glue gun's about six bucks. Oh, and you'll need an X-Acto knife or blade to cut the tennis balls. Now, be very, very careful if you're doing this. Uh, these blades are very sharp. Now, if you're a kid watching this video, make sure you get an adult to do this part for you. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started and uh, see if this even works. I think it should, but first I wanna do a couple tests uh, with the bass drum pedal, how it is and then we're gonna do a test uh, with the final result. So here we go. Okay, so first we're gonna test with this vibration analysis app. Um, I don't know how accurate this actually is, but it's really the only way we can do this. So let's go ahead and start that. Okay, so let's stop it and let's see what we got. I think what we need to be looking at here is the Y uh, resolution or Y axis peak, and that is at zero uh, or point zero forty nine. So I think I'm going to go with that. Let's take a screenshot too, just so that way I can look at this later. I, so my X-Acto knife seems to be pretty dull, so I'm going to try these sharp scissors instead. There we go. These seem to work better for me. Oh, maybe now that I have it punctured, I can cut it with the X-Acto knife. Let's try this. All right, there we go. All right, so now I just sort of arranged the tennis balls in a way that I think they look pretty good uh, before I glue them on there, and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, here's what the bases of both of them look like now. 
Got all the tennis balls on there. Now one thing, obviously this is going to make the bass drum sit a little bit higher uh, because it's going to be, you know, have these on the base of it. So what I'm going to have to do is actually raise my bass drum up just a little bit uh, with the spikes in the front. But actually that's kind of a good thing because I have such a small set. Actually I wouldn't mind it being up a little higher. So, yeah. Okay, so here it is all set up. And uh, we're going to test the vibrations here in a second. And it, it, you know, it lifts it up a little bit, but it's not too much. It's about like, you know, half an inch or something. Now you might notice here on my hi-hat, I actually did something similar uh, before. And all I did here is with the hi-hat is I just took a single tennis ball, cut it in half and put one under the base there and one under the heel part here. And uh, that actually made quite a big, big difference there. Um, the only drawback of doing this is actually you lose your spikes. Um, but since I'm on like a rug here, it hasn't really seemed to bother me yet. Uh, but we'll see once I start playing more with everything up on, you know, on the, uh, the tennis balls. We'll see if I get any sliding. Uh, my bass drum is against the wall, so that's not going to slide at all. So let's check the vibrations now and see how that is. All right, let's try to measure the vibrations now and see how it is. Okay, so that definitely made a big difference. Before we were at uh, 0 0.049, and now we're at 0 0.015. So that brought it down a lot. So that's actually really good. I mean, I could tell just from playing it, if I like touch the floor and I play, that it does cut down on the vibration quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, good stuff. So it works pretty good. It definitely cuts down on the vibrations. It does make the bass drum a little bit wobbly uh, just because, you know, there's those tennis balls under there. They give it a little bit of play. But I think that the uh, the Roland one would probably do that as well. And it doesn't really mess me up. I was able to get most of it out of there just by getting the uh, correct balance between my front spikes on my bass drum and the pedal. And uh, it only really does it when I'm doing like really, really heavy, like fully double bass drum beats. Uh, for long periods of time it starts to wobble a little bit but it's nothing that bad uh, it doesn't really bother me you don't even really notice it when you're playing i mean you notice it a little bit but it's not like anything horrible where it makes me just feel like i can't play or anything like that so it definitely cuts down on the vibrations it's easier than building a whole big platform to put your drums on and it's definitely cheaper than buying one of the roland ones uh, but i don't have one of the roland ones to compare it to so i can't really say you know, if that one's better or not. Um, I almost bought one, like I said, but you know, I figured I could save some money and uh, this probably worked just as good. So I'm happy with the results. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below and click the bell icon so you get notified every time I upload new content. Also, follow me on Spotify. There's a link down below. Demonic Sweaters have a new album coming out on December 4th, and I think it's going to be really good, and there's lots of double bass action on there and a lot of electronic drums. So check that out. Click the link down below. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys really soon. Take care.